Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you and chat about how much cash do you need in reserves when buying, if you're a first time home buyer and you just want to know how much do I need? It's always a good rule of thumb to put away 10% of the actual purchase price as a down payment. While not all transactions necessitate 10%, I have mortgage brokers that have worked with some of my best clients, my preferred lenders, and they were able to pull it through with only 5%, but it's good to have the 10% just in case. Just in case, and what if uh, you're in competition with other buyers, and 10%, showing that you have 10% down. I have been in deals when the attorneys will reject the deal, when only 5% is down. It doesn't matter what you put funds. It doesn't mean even, matter even if it's cash and you show money in the bank. I have seen first-hand attorneys throw back the money and will not give a contract at only 5%. So it's a good idea to have 10% down as a down payment, another 5% of reserves to close, because it's usually about five or 6% for closing costs. And any extra money is a cherry on the top or icing on the cake. Because you know, no matter what condition that property is in, you're going to have to put something in just to make it yours.